Hey everyone and welcome back to New Egg TV. My name is Paul. Once again, we have a special guest in the studio. This is Nick from ASUS. How's it going, Nick? It's still doing great, Paul. All right, I'm still doing great too. We've been doing quite a few videos today. We're covering a lot of products that Nick has brought along. You guys might recognize Nick from our CES 2013 coverage. And here we're covering yet another product from ASUS's networking line. So this is an 802.11 AC PCI Express network card. And um, if you guys are wondering, yes, this network card might actually be sexy. What do you, what do yeah, you think, Nick? Exactly as you described it, 802.11ac. It's got a nice red heatsink on top. And here on this model that we took out of the box, we have the antennas connected directly to the card itself. Um, of course, when it's positioned in a case or in a box um, or even a test bed, you might not have room for those antennas. So we do incl include a uh, magnetic antenna base stand so that you can actually go ahead and position wherever will be m most convenient for you to get pick up a good signal. And magnetize, so you just stick it on the side of your case or wherever uh, you have the least amount of interference. Exactly. Now, um, for those folks who might not be familiar with the 802.11ac standard, let's talk about wireless standards very briefly. First off, uh, we started with 802.11a, uh, what, A? A Way and then a long B. Long time ago, and then B, and then they had G. And now N is pretty much a standard right now. Most folks are using N if you've bought a laptop in the past few years, it's probably got an 802.11n uh, Wi-Fi card in there. Mm -hmm. uh, AC is the next step, and AC is improving uh, throughput and bandwidth on the 5 gigahertz band. Correct. Now, if you guys would like a much more long-winded explanation of this, as well as some sort of vague real-world examples that Nick kind of I made Nick come up with off of the top of his head, <laughs> you can check out our video. On this device right here, this is the 802.11ac USB adapter. So we went over this one. This is a great solution for folks who are looking to upgrade a laptop computer, and you can simply plug that in and give yourself a better wireless solution, more bandwidth, and uh, we demonstrated its effectiveness in yeah. that video. But this video is about the PCI Express adapter, so uh, let's start out with a comparison here. Going, let's say, from a USB solution like we talked about in the other video to the PCI Express adapter, what kind of benefits are you going to get? Uh, on the AC side alone, um, you're going to get probably at least a two-fold increase um, okay. from having that additional antenna and being in the PCI Express slot. So you're going to pick up quite a bit of speed, and compared to a 2.4 gigahertz network or an 802.11n, maybe single antenna, mm -hmm. uh, like a little USB dongle, maybe something like that, um, you're going to get five, six, seven times as fast. Okay, uh, so if you're, if you're going from like a really simple yeah. solution, like a lot of laptops have integrated, you're definitely going to see a big jump here. And we are going to be doing a bit of a demonstration here in just a moment. Uh, so let's let's clarify for some folks as well about uh, why are there three antenna on this particular device? Okay, so uh, each standard has uh, kind of a set of guidelines of what the configurations can be that all the manufacturers have to abide by to make sure that everything plays nicely together. Mm -hmm. um, 802.11n introduced up to three antennas in what they call multiple in, multiple out, and each antenna can transmit and receive at the same time, increasing the amount of stuff that can be sent back and forth. Okay. So this is going to be uh, the top of the line for 802.11ac. Um, we have the three antennas. Uh, this is the only three antenna PCI Express card solution on the market today and it's basically going to allow you to get the fastest speeds possible um, using 802.11ac today. Okay, and just a quick comparison here, uh, but going from 802.11n to 802.11ac, with 802.11n, if you had a three antenna solution such as this, the maximum theoretical bandwidth for each antenna was 150 megabits per second, and you could collect those together, uh, and what, what is the term? So you'll, you'll see that labeled as four, 450, 450, 450 okay. megabits when you have three antennas maxed out on 802.11n. Um, on 802.11ac, for products that have three antennas, what you'll see advertised is uh, either 1300 megabits or 1.3 gigabits per second. Um, the two antenna solutions will come in at 867 and then the one at 433. Okay, so essentially uh, you're moving from 150 megabits per second per antenna to about 433. Correct. So um, that's the theoretical improvement, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit more about some real world performance. To that end, we have a demonstration set up okay. right here. So yeah. what are we going to be uh, walking through with the demo? So what we have here is a, is a desktop and we have a, a two antenna end solution, uh, which is uh, what's probably going to be most commonly found if in desktops that have wireless solutions. Mm -hmm. So what we've gone ahead here and done is we've connected to 
the 2.4 gigahertz band using the 802.11 end connection. And as you can see here, we're at 2 gigahertz on 802.11 n, of course. And let's go ahead and start to run this test and see what kind of speeds we're going to get over the 2.4 gigahertz n. So this is an example of what, uh, if you're at home right now and you have a wireless solution on your desktop, this is probably a pretty average solution for that. This is probably a good representation of the speeds that you would currently be getting. And we're Correct. at 2.4 gigahertz, 802.11 n, and not AC and this is a two antenna solution. So on 802.11n, 2.4 gigahertz, we can see about 76 megabits per second writing, about 80 megabits per second reading. Um, let's go ahead and just see how that a four gig file being transferred over the network and kind of take a look at the ETA there on how long that would take using this. Looks like we're jumping around a bit right now, but about nine minutes, maybe 10 minutes. So we're looking at a, around 10 megabytes per second right now. And again, folks, remember this is 2.4 gigahertz, uh, uh, the frequency that it is connecting to. It's, it's running on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And that's because we're currently at Newegg and we have many, many wireless devices and access points. There's a lot of interference going on right now. So that's going to be exactly. uh, potentially interfering with your communication <laughs> back and forth. But that's another benefit of 802.11ac because it runs on the 5 gigahertz band, mm -hmm. which, at least for the time being, is a lot less crowded than the 2.4 so gigahertz. Let's go ahead and take one more example before we get over to 802.11ac, where 802.11n also supports the 5 gigahertz band. Mm -hmm. So let's connect to the 5 gigahertz band on 802.11n and see what kind of improvement that will give us. So. so this should theoretically be the same bandwidth available, but perhaps we're going to be dealing with a bit less uh, interference. Interference. So okay. you should be getting a bit quicker than the 7680 here. Okay. Um, maybe 30, 40, 50 percent. Let's, let's, see. let's right. see what we can get here. So already here we see a pretty big jump. So we're around uh, 157 writing, looks like. We're around 190 reading. So we saw a very big jump on the 5 gigahertz band. Definitely. Um, and that really shows how impacted the 2.4 gigahertz uh, yeah. band is Especially around here in the Especially if you're office. in a, if you're in an area like this, if you're in an industrial area, or maybe like an apartment building or something like that, where you have lots of people with lots of different routers, a very crowded spectrum, mm -hmm. more interference is going to hurt your speeds. So let's take a look at this 4 gig file. Use on the 5 gigahertz 802.11n. We can see from that 10, 9, 8 megabytes a second, we're up to around 17. So um, we have about split it in half of the amount of time that you would need to transfer that file over. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and take our final look at 802.11ac. We'll go ahead and enable that connection and disable the other one. If you guys are wondering how Nick did this, we had a add-on USB 2.0 802.11 wireless N card, which he plugged into our laptop demo machine over here. Now we're switching back over to the 802.11ac unit. Uh, like I have right here, which is currently installed. And we are connected to the 5 gigahertz band using the AC card here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of speeds that we can get. All right. So let's run this test. So here we can already see the huge increase from 802.11 AC. That's significantly so, more. Uh, on the writing, we did 471. <laughs> on the reading, we did 389. Let's, let's run it one more time. Let's, yeah, we might as well. Let's, it's so fast. It, it varies. It can vary each time. Um, it varies according to the environment. In an ideal environment, what I've seen on this card is uh, between 450 and 500, like in a household, is, is not to be unexpected. Okay. So we've gotten a look at some real world Remember. speeds. Let's take a look at that 4 gig file yeah. transferring. Num numbers over. should speak for themselves right there, you guys. Uh, but here's the 4.5 gigabyte file transfer test. It is just calculating the speeds right now. Oh, I think we might have yeah, run into a hang-up there. Might have hung up. Uh oh. Let's try that again. There it goes. There we go. So, looks like we're already up from our previous max of around 17, 18 megabytes a second. We're up to 55 plus, so that's about three times faster, at least um, compared to the end. So that's a solid, a solid three times increase, and we went from originally needing around 10 minutes to about a minute and a half. Excellent. So well, less um, than a minute now. So uh, clearly, as you can see here, guys, the new standard provides uh, much greater bandwidth availability. Uh, and again, you also get the benefit of being able to run on that 5 gigahertz band, which again, for the time being, until too many people find out about this, but don't worry, you're the first to know. Uh, <laughs> that, that's going to be a pretty 
open, clear spectrum for you guys to, to transfer your files back and forth if you're looking for a wireless solution. Uh, so yeah, uh, was there anything else about this card as far as features or extras? Because Asus also provides uh, some utilities to use. Yeah, you will get the Asus utilities, um, so it'll give you um, ability to set up profiles um, and uh, see maybe signal strength and kind of give you some information that the Windows utility doesn't give you. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Uh, once again, we've been taking a look at the wireless AC1750. It's an 802.11 AC PCI Express wireless card with a three antenna setup. Uh, we've been talking with Nick from Asus. Nick, thanks again for stopping by today. Thank you, Paul. And uh, thanks to all you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more tech videos, you can find them on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.